Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a 30 minute full body strength workout using one set of dumbbells. Today I'm using a set of 10 pound dumbbells. There's also a warm up and cool down included in this workout, so you do not need to go and do those separately. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off with a bit of a warm up, starting off with our arms. We're gonna circle the arms backwards, nice big circles. Good, and circle them forwards. Good, come down into like a natural squat position here. Fingertips are tucked under your toes. You're gonna send the booty up and come back down. Good, standing up, drawing big half circles with our knees, warming up those hips. All I need is short time devotion. I don't want to be so emotional. Just want to dance, want a simple romance. Nothing more, nothing less from you. No ties. No ties. Good, you're gonna do a body weight squat with your arms above head, down, as you come up, rise on those toes, and lower. Keep your chest lifted. Good, coming down into a plank, a high plank on your hands. From this plank position, you're going to push back, bending the knees, stretching out those shoulders, and back to center. Keep those booties down. Don't worry about a thing, cause you have me won't last long. Just stay with me for a drink. Good, standing up. We're taking a quick 30 second rest. You're going to need your weights. We're gonna get into our workout. So the way that this workout is structured is each exercise is gonna be 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. We're gonna take this, take this workout two exercises at a time. First up, you're gonna do a deadlift. So feet about shoulder width apart, sending those hips back, down. As you come up, you're gonna step back into a reverse lunge. Down, back to center, deadlift, and then other leg. Make sure you're sitting into your heels for both of these movements. Press through that heel as you're standing up from your lunge. Nice work, 15 second rest. Your second exercise is just going to be some straight shoulder presses. So palms facing forward, pressing up and coming down. Remembering not to lock out the elbows here at the top. You wanna keep a slight bend. Here we go. Don't spend too much time here at the bottom or too much time at the top. This is a continuous motion.
10 more seconds. Nice work. All right, we're taking a 15 second rest. We're gonna repeat those two exercises again. So we're gonna start off with those deadlifts and the reverse lunges. Hinge those hips, send the booties back. Upper body's in a straight line. Nice work, 15 second rest. We're gonna do our shoulder presses. Let's go. Nice work, moving on to our second set of exercises. First up, you're gonna do a side lunge. So feet are wide, coming down, pressing through the heel. Then from here, you're gonna do a sumo squat, coming down and up. So make sure you're not too wide here because then you're not gonna be able to perform a proper squat. We're just thinking about sitting into those heels and pressing through the glutes. Keep that chest lifted. Make sure you're sitting back into those heels. Good work. Your second exercise is a bicep curl. One arm is going to be held here at 90 degrees. We're gonna do half our interval with one arm, then we're gonna switch. Here we go. Make sure you're extending that arm all the way. Tuck the elbows, shoulder blades back. Go ahead and switch. Nice work, 15 second rest. We're repeating those two again. Here we go, starting off with those side lunges. Remember to sit back into this heel.
Nice work, doing those bicep curls once again. This time I want you to start with your opposite arm. So if you started with your right arm the first time, start with your left arm. Here we go. Make sure your elbows are tucked. Last one and switch. Moving on. Next up, you're gonna move through a plank position holding your dumbbells. You're gonna step one leg forward into a lunge, bring the arms back for a back row, squeezing those shoulder blades, and then step it through. Make sure you're stepping back into a straight line. No booties poking up in the air. Think about your core. Good work, sitting on your booties. Depending on how heavy your weights are, you can use both or just one. We're gonna do some Russian twists. So sitting back, make sure the tension's on the lower abs, dropping the dumbbell to either side. Keep your chest open and lifted. Good work, 15 second rest. We're gonna do that again. Here we go, stepping through plank. Make sure everything's nice and strong. Make sure you're hitting every position. So this is one, this is two, three. Nice work sitting on your booty. Getting ready for those Russian twists. Keep those shoulders back. I know it's easy to kind of fall into it here. Keep the chest open and it helps me to keep my gaze looking up and out. Try to keep those feet planted on the floor. Don't let them move.
head work. We're gonna stay down here on the ground for our next set of exercises. First up, we're gonna do a glute bridge. So coming down on your back, feet are planted flat on the floor. We're also gonna do a chest press here. Make sure your elbows are not directly out, have them slightly lower. You're gonna hold this glute bridge position. You're gonna do one arm, press it up four times. Four and switch. Keep those hips lifted, think about that chest. Don't let those hips drop. Good, you're gonna stay here on your back. Again, you can drop one dumbbell if you need. We're gonna do a weighted crunch. Legs are in tabletop. Arms come back. As you crunch it up, you extend one leg out, bring the dumbbell to your shin. Back to tabletop, lower back press into the floor. Nice work, take a little breather down here. We're gonna repeat those two again. Think about tucking those shoulder blades down the back as you get ready here for those chest presses. Send the booties up, keep those hips lifted. Great job, dropping one dumbbell. Make sure as you're dropping the arms back, you're not letting the back go here. If that means you can only drop your arms to here rather than all the way down, totally fine. If that means you can't drop your arms at all, just do the crunch motion. Bring it back to center. Keep that lower back pressed to the floor. Nice work, standing it up for our last set of exercises. First up, you're gonna do a regular squat with a bicep curl. Nice and simple, you're gonna do a hammer curl so your palms are facing toward each other. Coming down, chest stays lifted. As you come up, curl, tuck those elbows. Press through those heels, press through the glutes.
Nice work. You're gonna drop one dumbbell. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. You're gonna do a lunge with a dumbbell snatch. So arm is out beside you, coming down for a lunge. This toe is facing the wall. You come up, brace the core, arm comes above head. Control down and up. Getting ready to go right to the other side. Good work, 15 second rest. We're repeating those two. Last round. Here we go. Nice and strong. Good, 15 second rest. Take a quick breather. Here we go, find your balance, find that sweet spot, 30 seconds each side. Control that dumbbell on the way down. Good, getting ready to go to the other side. Nice work. All right, you can set those dumbbells aside. I'm gonna lead you through a quick little cool down. First up, we're gonna stretch out those hip flexors. So coming down into a long lunge here. You can brace yourself up on your knees and then really sink into this lunge, sending those hips forward. Good, slowly come out of this. You can stretch that leg back and switch it out. Good, place both hands on the mat. You're gonna come into a plank here. 
You're gonna slowly lower yourself down and into a cobra. Again, let those hips feel nice and heavy. Sink them into the mat and open up that chest. Good, from here, tuck those toes under. Slowly lift yourself through a plank into a down dog here. You can also pedal out the feet here. My hands are very slippery on my mat. They are very sweaty. <laughs> Good, coming through plank, drop those knees down. We're here in a tabletop position. We're just gonna do some cat and cow, so letting the belly button drop to the mat. Head comes up. And as you exhale, belly button comes to the ceiling. Good, bring your left arm up, open that chest, and then you're gonna feed it through. And we're gonna hold this stretch here so your shoulder is down on the mat. Good, and slowly coming back through center, we're gonna do the other arm. So right arm comes up, open that chest and feed it through, shoulders down on the mat. Good, slowly coming through center. And last stretch here, you're just gonna push back into a child's pose, reach those fingertips towards the top of your mat, forehead is down on the mat, and breathe nice and deep into your lower back. Good, slowly coming through tabletop, tuck those toes under, jump the feet together and slowly roll up. That is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this 30 minute full body strength workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and also let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I'll see you guys very soon, bye.